Welcome into the Sports Geek. I'm your host, Jared Slinsky. Excited to be joined by Brenton Kemp, our Major League Baseball insider. You can find his work in all sorts of the blog section here on the Sports Geek. Does a ton of writing for us. Just does a fantastic job. And also had a good week so far with your picks. We've only gotten to have a chance to talk to you one time, but you hit on one of your two picks. Uh, hopefully we can get both of those picks for today to hit. Let's start with your Major League Baseball money line pick, Brendan. All right, Jared. So, you know, busy day in the world of baseball today, entering the weekend. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to head to Baltimore where the Orioles take on uh, the Chicago White Sox. Um, as for Baltimore, they throw uh, right-hander Jorge Lopez. You know, Lopez, a bit of a journeyman, hasn't really stuck in, the, in, in, uh, in a rotation for too long. You know, and it's actually interesting, Jared. He carries a 602 ERA and a 5.12 FIP into, the, into this one. And that's nearly identical to his career work. He wants a 6.03 ERA and a 5.12 FIP for his career. So he's pretty much doing exactly what we expect him to do this season. Obviously, that's subpar work. But the work has been better at home. And it's been better at home of late. Over his last three at home, or, or, yeah, over his last three starts at home, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just six earned runs allowed. You know, two two runs per game at home or over his last three, but he's also three earned runs against or less in six of his last seven at home. You know, he's coming he's coming off six point two innings pitch, two earned runs against the best offense in baseball in the Houston Astros. Um, you know, he was touched up on the road, I believe, against the Blue Jays his last time out. But you know, the work at home has been much better for Lopez. Not gonna, you know, not throwing him in any Cy Young conversations anytime soon. But you know, th th things have been coming around for the right-hander of late. As for the White Sox, it's uh, 2015 AL Cy Young winner Dallas Keuchel getting the nod. And like like, like Lopez, Jared Keuchel struggling by his standards. You know, he led the American League with a 1.99 ERA in the shortened 2020 season. He's at a 4.48 ERA this season, and the peripherals more or less agree with that work. He owns a 4.75 FIP as well. So, you know, not very good work. He he does keep the ball on the ground at a 56% rate, but the home runs are up, as is the hard contact. Um, and he's actually been far worse on the road. It's a 5.35 ERA on the road. And over his last two on the road, Jared, he's allowed 10 earned runs and just 6.2 innings pitched. He's coming off seven earned runs against in, in, in Detroit against that Tigers offense uh, his last time out. So, you know, he's been very good at home with a sub three, a sub four ERA at home, but the work on the road, obviously much worse. As for the offense, you know, the Orioles are actually, it hasn't been the, hasn't been the offense that's been the problem in Baltimore in this season. It's been the pitching, both in the rotation and the bullpen. You know, the Orioles are actually 12th overall with a 324 weighted on base average, average at home. And they're also tied for third with a 335 weighted on base average against left-handed pitching. You know, you would never expect that. They're one of the worst offenses in baseball against righties, but one of the very, very best against lefties, which is, you know, uh, uh, count me as, one, uh, as, as surprised by that figure. You know, as for the White Sox, we know they can hit. Uh, one of the best offenses in baseball last season, one of the better groups again this time around. Uh, but I will note that they're, a, they're second with a 337 weighted on base average against left-handed pitching. But that number slips to 325 against righties. The power also slips as well. They're actually in the bottom 10 of the league in terms of isolated power um, against right-handed right, right -handed pitching, such as Jorge Lopez. So, you know, that's it, it, still the overall offense against, against righties is still eighth overall. But let's talk about some White Sox injuries as well. You know, they, they lost uh, Eloy Jimenez. They lost him in spring training due to a ruptured pectoral muscle. Uh, fellow young stud, uh, Luis Robert, he, he injured a hip while, while running out of grounder to first base. Second baseman Nick Madrigal out for the season with a torn hamstring. And they also lost Yasmani Grandel, their catcher, uh, to a you know, torn ligaments in his knee that required surgery. So those are four very, very good bats from various perspectives on base, batting average, power, of course, uh, speed. So, you know, the White Sox, they have hung in there. They're actually averaging over, averaging over six runs per game over their last 10. But those are some serious injuries. That's, that's half a lineup's worth of above average production lost. You know, in terms of the bullpen, the White Sox, are, we, we thought they were going to be one of the best groups in baseball. They're actually 13th overall with a decent 397 ERA. Um, you know, 
kind of tr- uh, trending towards the middle of the pack, but they also rank 25th in terms of hard hit rate at over 40% of the season. Um, and they've worked to an ERA over five over the last two weeks. Well, Baltimore's bullpen has not been very good either of late over five over the last two weeks themselves. But you know what? I like the Orioles here, Jared. We should also note that the White Sox are about 15 to 20 games over 500 at home. They're only 20 and 21 on the road. So, you know, if, if there's a time to, you know, maybe uh, maybe look at some value against Chicago, it's when they're playing on the road. And we're getting Baltimore at plus 125 money line odds here. Obviously, Chicago is the far superior team. But in this spot, against the left hander such as Keiko and with that Chicago bullpen struggling a little bit right now i like baltimore plus 125 so let's roll the dice there so the underdog baltimore orioles against the white Sox. what about for your over under today brenton yeah so over under uh we're gonna we're gonna go to the al central where the where the minnesota twins play host to the detroit tigers and here i here i am again jared talking about those detroit tigers you know they you know they dropped the opener last night a tough one but they send right-hander matt manning to the mound in this one and um, you know, he made his debut tonight's his fifth big marks his fifth big league start. The two, the first two went well. He actually allowed just one earned run and or I believe three earned runs combined in those first two starts, but he has been brutalized over his last two, uh, 11 earned runs, 17 hits against, and just 6.1 innings over his last two starts. You know, Manning wouldn't be in the big leagues right now if it weren't some, if it weren't for some injuries to that Tigers rotation, you know, Matt Boyd and, Spencer Turnbull or Spencer Turnbull are on the IL at the moment and Manning, you know, he needs more seasoning in the minors. He's a, he's a first round pick in 2016, but he, he needs more seasoning. but he's kind of been thrown into the fire just, to, just because the, uh, you know, the Tigers have needed him with those injuries. As for the twins, it's right-hander Kenta Maeda going to the mound after a, after a brilliant Cy Young caliber season last year, Maeda scuffled this year, 503 ERA, 4.56 FIP. Entering this one, I will note that he's been much better at home, but overall, he's he actually his 38.9% hard hit rate against is the worst of his career. You know, um, excuse me, the strikeouts are down, you know, the walks are a little bit up. He, he's just been hit harder, and he actually spent some time on the IL as well. Um, you know, so if we, if we go to the offenses of this one, the Detroit Tigers, worst in the worst in the big leagues by far in April since May 1st, 13th with a 320 weighted on base average. And they're actually 11th with a 328 mark here in the month of July. Much, much better. And one thing to keep an eye on tonight if, when we're looking at this Tigers offense is the speed on the bases. 48 steals since May 1st, Jared. That's the best mark in baseball. Obviously, the, the stolen base upside, you know, plays up a bit against the right here in Maeda. He's only allowed two steals on the season. That doesn't really allow a ton of steals. But believe, believe me, the Tigers will attempt some stolen bases in this one. It's part of their offense. They don't hit for a ton of power, not, not a lot of home run power at least. So they, you know, look for them to mix things up on the bases. As for the Twins, very, very good offense. Again, like uh, like Baltimore, the Twins are, you know, hovering around last place in their division. But it's not because of the offense. It's 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 been the starting pitching, especially the bullpen there in Minnesota. Overall, they're tied for ninth with a 323 weighted on base average. They're actually tied for third in all of baseball with a 186 isolated power. So there's certainly plenty of muscle in that lineup. Nelson Cruz, Josh Donaldson, you know, Miguel Sano hit a home run last night. Lots of power in that mini offense. So as for the bullpens, both of them have been brutal. Minnesota is uh, 25th in the league in overall bullpen ERA. And the Tigers are actually right behind them at 26. So we're looking at like two of the worst five bullpens in baseball. And for the Twins, they also rank dead last in terms of hard hit rate and barrel rate against for that bullpen. Um, the Tigers, not much better. I believe they're 26 or 27 in those departments. So, you know, the, the, these groups are being hit hard. The Tigers bullpen has not been good of late. You know, Minnesota just, you know, they, they've actually been last in those two departments throughout the entire Major League Baseball season, or at least in the first half here. So uh, with all this information, Manning's struggling big time of late. Um, a couple of potent offenses right now, man, uh, sorry, uh, Maeda, you know, not having a good season by his standards at all. So I'm looking at the total here, Jared, we got 9.5, a little bit of an elevated total, but I can totally see why. And, you know, w- w- one last thing I will mention when it comes to Manning is 
he he's not obviously when you're getting roughed up like him i said just 6.1 innings pitched over his last two we will see a big chunk of that tigers bullpen and obviously the results haven't been there for that group so so let me grab the uh the over 9.5 here at minus 105 odds i like it a high run total but going with yeah. the over between detroit and minnesota absolutely Brennan, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Again, that's Brenton Kemp, our MLB insider here on the Sports Gate. Thank you very much, Jared. Let's go get it. Yes, indeed. Let's get some wins. I'm your yeah. host, Jared.